I'm off for another adventure. <laughs> I'm going up to a Halliburton Forest and uh, I'm going to teach a winter camping workshop. I've done it before for Yours Outdoors, Barry. And yeah, so I'm giving one there today. And uh, I hope we get a, the full group. They might be a little nervous because it's going to be... Um, well, right now it's minus 27. <laughs> okay, like a tripod. Got there you it. go. There you right go. on. It's more like an axe. Now you're just gonna stay there for the next 12 hours. I got it. Let's get this baby rocking hot. And then, uh, yeah. we'll it looks the... safe to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, going to teach another winter camping workshop. This time at Frontenac Outfitters. Here we are. <laughs> We're putting the tents up in the wind. So there's a reason why I'm uh, winter camping at Killarney Provincial Park with uh, Tim and Andy. I asked them to join me. Uh, yeah, there's a lot more people uh, winter camping and especially front country camping in Ontario Parks, which I think is fantastic. Uh, but I was told that there's some issues with camp etiquette and uh, I've seen that myself. So just a short little clip. I'm going to show you what some of the etiquette rules are. Because some people just don't know. Hey! Hey! Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. Hey! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> I do feel like there was some frustration. I seriously, like, look. I think there was some You don't see it, but there's, like, look, my, my finger is swollen. It's red. Kevin, it was a chickadee. No, it was. Like, it was <laughs> literally this Look at, no, seriously. <laughs> Lots of ashes? I'm afraid. <laughs> it looks like looking into hell. There's <laughs> lots of glowing embers. Okay, if I, if I don't come back, make sure you feed my turtle. More YouTubers! They're everywhere! <laughs> it's like the plague of YouTubers. Hey guys. So who are you? Uh, Alex and Jess, we're from uh, Tents and Timber. Right, I can't hear you, the music's too loud. <laughs> it's a little loud over here, but yeah, we're having a great time here at the Adventure Show. Nice awesome. meeting yeah. Kevin and everybody else, it's been a ton of fun. Dennis uh, is going to have us up on the stage, uh, the two legends of the canoe world. Um, this is uh, Legend 1. <laughs> <laughs> what seems to be happening to your book here, sir? Uh, it's getting, uh, it's getting marked Signed by... Signed by a real paddler. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, there's no peer pressure right there. He gave me a bottle of whiskey because he said if it wasn't for me, he wouldn't go off canoeing. Think of that next time you're on a long portage. Mike, are you ready for happy hour? Or are you good? Mike, what do you think of uh, of Tim's cooking? I'm, I'm not sure what's going to happen yet. No? Might be interesting. And what's it like finally getting out fishing in Algonquin Park after? It's great. Yeah, I'm yeah. glad you caught one. Yeah. Ash didn't, but that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, we did it. We did. We did it. And we only brought two back. That's true. We, we caught, caught lots. Thanks for taking me back out. Right, you're welcome. And right. you're cleaning them, right? No, no, you're doing them. Well, you're better at it than I am. Oh, you know you'd, that. You'd be better if you practice. No. Right. I'll yeah. help you, though. <laughs> Before we go, Christine, there's a rule of river runnery. Oh. Okay, first of all, get a little bit of water in your hand and okay. put it on top of your head. You're like joking. that. It's baptism. Oh. Baptism. It's so cute. And then and then you gotta twirl your blade like this. <laughs> and not knock Rodeo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't, I don't even know how to do that properly. Oh there. There you awesome. go. Now we've gone through the service. It's like genuflecting at the altar. Alright, you ready? <laughs> Okay, we gotta do this one slow, okay? It's a long one. 
Right, take us right. Draw right. Oliver, Oliver, go out of my kitchen. Out of my kitchen, both dogs, out of my kitchen. Go on. <laughs> Wait, don't start. <laughs> don't start yet. Congratulations to me. One huh, hundredth episode of the Casey Happy Camper Whiskey Fireside Chat. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. A whiskey Fireside Chat with yeah. Alex and Noah from Northern Scavengers. Once again, this is the second time. I'm feeling much better about myself. I'm actually having a whiskey. You guys are having like vodka with water and lime, and you're having like what, what the. You're probably not even a real true canoeist, is what I'm saying. Isn't it true that to do something like a loan, you'd have to be a little <laughs> crazy? I would, I, I like the term unique. <laughs> Here he is. Oh, my goodness gracious me. The winner of a loan season nine, an author. You're an author now. Uh, like, what, were the, what was the main carrot in front of the horse? Well, I, th I think you just said it right there. It was the unknown. Um, that's that's the huge motivation. You know, for 20 years, I watched people say there's a lost gold mine. And then I see people saying there isn't a lost gold mine. Sean had this great idea that you would actually go and visit all the five Great Lakes uh, in North America, five Great Lakes, do it in one day. So, so Sean, because it was your brainstorm idea that just bubbling out of your skull right there, why? What? 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 What were you thinking? So what do you think this is, Jim? Definitely an aircraft. I think we need to talk to NASA. And then once they felt um, themselves that this might be a piece of Challenger, then they uh, went through a very strict protocol. Like we didn't announce it. We kept it quiet. Um, we went to NASA until they, NASA to, to have them identify it. And once they identified it, we just let them control the narrative. A little celebrating a lot, uh, today, cause I'm very excited. I just paid off what I owed to create my latest, uh, self-publishing book. Hi y'all, Gary here to give a book review of Kevin Callan's new epic memoir, Another Bend in the River. It would no doubt sell more copies had he used my suggested title, The Erotic Paddling Adventures of an Old Drunken Wilderness Hobo. Flex tail, tiny pump, 2X. This is a new one. It's supposed to be more, more powerful. I think it, what was it, 80 liters per minute or something? No, you know, I'm getting that wrong. Uh, we'll see how fast it is. Durable, lightweight, lots of extras, but it's also very, very cozy, and that's important. Coziness is important. Old barrel, really old barrel. Yeah. Seen a lot, right? Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Got stickers on it from everywhere. There, yeah. I've been everywhere, man. And uh, the great thing about the straps is that um, that they're long. They're extra long intentionally so that you can hoist it up. My hat. I lost my hat. Do you have everything except the kitchen sink? What? So whatever you, it's up to you, whatever you put in there. But these are cool, big, I mean, again, another great idea that clients, customers have said, you know, your external pouch is good. Something a little longer, bigger, that'd be fantastic. This is when the park warden is gonna show up. <laughs> Love the new gear, Andy. Works Ooh. really well. Well, we're getting a picture of Tump Boy. Tump Boy. Yeah, look at that. Formerly Canoe Head. <laughs> Make canoeing great again. Yeah. <laughs> there, they've now tumped. They're Canadian. They've done the Canadian hey. stroke. They've done the tump. A. Eh? <laughs> they just keep filming. I'll, I'll do all the work. You can only lift it if you're Thor. Okay, give it a try. Yeah. <laughs> Head, try to listen instead, won't you? 
I'm off with my water. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I should put it down for a minute. Just want some bugs. Off I go again. <laughs> Are you ready? Yep, I am. Okay. I haven't got my GPS out yet. Uh-oh. <laughs> we won't get lost, will we? We're just confused of our whereabouts. You gotta tell your audience that we are the elite bass fishing masters. Well, we would do the same, but you guys don't have an audience. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, all the lines are going to the water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> fish, 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 oh, fish. Man. So it's low water, it's fall. <laughs> and uh, look at what we gotta go through. And I, I said, Chris, it's fine. And Chris said, you do know this is a brand new boat. <laughs> what could go wrong? What do you think, Andy? Hold my beer. <laughs> Life is gonna happen one way or the other Whether you like it or not Stop looking for the answers And you'll find What you've got I'm in Wales. Bala. Bala, Wales in the UK and I'm at the uh, the Welsh Open Canoe Symposium. Is this the first time you're here at the symposium? No, this is actually my third one here. Yeah? Yeah. Everybody's relatively smiley-faced. People are on the water. It's all working out, honest. <laughs> this is one busy show. Hey. Are you Kevin, you're all right. Yeah? Leaving my mundane life behind, I dip slowly into a world of another kind, where the sun glitters on the surface of water, transmuting into a naiad, a river's daughter. Okay, Kevin. time to look down. Ready? Kevin. Yes? This was built in 1805. It's old so, so, and dangerous. So don't lean too hard on the edge in case it goes, mate. 1805 <laughs> this was done. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for telling me that now. Really? Yeah. Really sure done it. Okay, here we go. Have a look. Weather's changed a bit. Just a little bit. Wee bit. Yeah, the evil cloud caught up with us. The evil cloud caught up to us. <laughs> That's an observation. It is. Come on, we'll give you a hand to get these bugs yeah. out. It's absolutely right. cool. We gotta go. No time for filming on this trip. Where the wind will blow. I'm recording now. Go live. In Dublin's fair city, where the girls are so pretty, I first set my eyes on sweet Molly Malone. As she, she wheels a wheelbarrow through the streets broad and narrow, crying cockles and muscles alive, alive. alive.